What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Man, we back, man. Welcome to the refill. I'm your host, Ron Daniel. Uh, we back for episode 23. Uh, we've been away for about three weeks. Um, man, we glad to be back, man. We've been um, we've been having people, you know, inboxing, <clears throat> inboxing and uh, texting us and asking us, you know, what's going on with the show. Um you know, I just told we we just had some uh, some things we had to sort out um, the last three weeks. I'm, I'm gonna get into that in a minute. But if you're just not tuning in, uh, welcome to the refill. Uh, this is a gospel rap Christian hip hop podcast. Uh, we 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 highlight the DJs, the artists, the promoters, the influencers, and everybody that make uh, gospel rap. Uh, rock and roll global wide. Uh, we thankful for everybody that tune in every week. Uh, again, uh, we've been away uh, for about three weeks. Uh, we had a, and I, I tell you what was going on. We had a um, a death in the family, and uh, we had uh, my dad uh, passed away on uh, February twelfth, and uh, I'm in the south, and we was po- we was planning for a funeral. The next week, so the twelfth uh, fell on a Friday, and that's generally that's normally when we do uh, our podcast on Thursdays and Fridays. If y'all if y'all been tuning in, you know we do them on Thursdays and Fridays. Um, but he passed away on February February the twelfth, uh, which was a Friday. So I canceled. I just you know wasn't in the mindset to do anything that day, and uh, that 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 was hard. You know, seeing your seeing your dad pass away. Uh, Cause he 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 fathered, uh, man, nine kids. He was married uh, to my stepmom. We call her Mama too. Uh, he was married to, to her for thirty years, and so you know that 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 was hard to to see and hard to witness, uh, seeing him transition like that. But we was by his bedside. Um, you know when the Lord took him on home, we was holding his hand and just talking to him till he took his last breath. And part of tonight's uh, topic is when I when I saw that, I was like, you know, you at some point in life, you got to make a, a decision to live. You know what I'm saying? You got to make a decision to do what you need to do because you don't have time on this earth to play around. You know, God blessed him to live 70 years. He just turned 70 January 1 uh, this year. He just turned 70, and then he passed away uh, one month, 12 days later. So that's like 42 days later he passed away. And so we was planning a funeral um, for the next week, and it snowed. And it snowed, like, real heavy. Like, it was like 18 inches in my backyard of snow. This whole city, the whole South just shut down. Um, nobody moving around. So that was the next Friday. So we couldn't couldn't do nothing. I couldn't come to the studio. Like we actually I don't I don't podcast from my house. Uh I podcast from uh we have two studios here uh up here at uh, Skyway Media. And so I podcast here in the studio. So I couldn't I couldn't make it up here. Uh couldn't drive, couldn't do nothing. And so <clears throat> We was planning for his funeral on the 25th, which was the following Friday. And so I was like, I'm, man, I'm not going to uh, do the podcast show uh, because that was a Friday. But we end up pushing the funeral to that following Monday, which was March the 1st. But, you know, we, we miss him. Uh, we love him. Uh, I, I'm, I'm thankful that I was able to spend a lot of time with him weekly, daily sometimes, um, just talking to him, just getting his input on just life, you know what I'm saying, just life and, um, you know, put things in perspective. You know, it's just hard talking about this now because, you know, he, he raised nine kids. Uh, he was married for 30 years. Uh, he worked at the post office uh, for 40 Forty plus years, and he retired from the post office. He was in the military for four years in Vietnam, so he lived a full life. He traveled, he done everything he wanted to do. Him, him and his wife, and you know the kids and everybody, you know. And, but but for him and his wife, 
Oh, uh, my stepmom, we call her Mama too. You know, they 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 really live life for thirty years being married, and uh, to see them go away, that that kind of hit home. Uh, and I was just thinking about, you know, what can we talk about tonight? Because we didn't have any <clears throat> any artist scheduled. Well, we had one artist, but it was a last minute, um, excuse me, scheduling conflict. And so it was supposed to be tonight. So I said, you know, I'll just go on and talk uh, so we can keep this train rolling. But we back again tonight, man. Listen, y'all just keep, uh, if, you, if you're watching this, if you're a praying person, keep our family in your prayers. Uh, and we're going to get into this topic, man. Tonight we're talking about uh, stop worrying about what people think about you. You know, when I, when I, was, when I was going through the whole uh, and I'm speaking for me personally, because, you know, there's a lot of people that was uh, in the room when he passed away. It was me and my brother, my stepmom, uh, and my, and my uh, sister-in-law, and we just all around the bed. Because in the hospital, they weren't letting a lot of people in the room. They weren't letting a lot of people in the hospital. And so, uh, you know, we was there uh, and just being around him and talking to him again until he just took his last breath. And, uh, you know, it kind of hit home. So I had three weeks to think about this thing. And so, you know, tonight's topic talking about, you know, stop worrying about what people think about you. Stop worrying about what they think. And so, you know, I'm not coming before you with a script or, uh, you know, just I didn't do some deep, in-depth Bible study. It's just we're just going to chop it up tonight um, because after seeing that, it, it helped you put a few things in perspective about, you know, what you need to do in this life. And the reason why a lot of people don't do what they need to do because they worried about um, what people think about them. They so concerned about, you know, how it's going to look or how it's going to feel or, you know, what my mama going to think about it, what my friends going to think about what I'm trying to do or what my partners, what my homegirls, homeboys, you know, what what they think about what I'm trying to do. So, you know, what what I say to that is at some point, you got to decide to do what you need to do in life. Listen, this is a gospel rap podcast, but what I'm, what I'm going to talk about tonight can apply to anything in life, anything. You got to live your life. You see what I'm saying? Some of us work jobs we don't like, and we, and we hate going to those jobs, and we want to do something different we we want to do uh we want to start a business we we want to do something other than this old job we get up and brush our teeth and wash our face to go work for this company they really don't care about you if you, if you just be honest you know they really don't care but we we it's like we choose comfort in this life versus the risk the risk is always greater than comfort but we choose to comfort when we work for people because you get a check. You know when it's coming in. You know it's going to get uh, deposited. Or if you go pick your check up by hand. You know what I'm saying? You just want your money. So you, you got your benefits. You got your health benefits. You got all these benefits. You know when your money coming in every week or every two weeks or once a month. Whenever your money comes into the bank account. Comfort. You see what I'm saying? And you get older and older and older and older, and you like, now you 60, 70 years old, and now you, you want to start something, you want to do something, but now it's like you don't have the energy, you don't have that, what we say in the South, that oomph. You don't get that oomph to get out there and make it happen now. Cause your, bone, your bones old, you know, so you still got in your mindset what you want to do, but you really can't move around. Then you might, uh, some you might have some health issues later on down the line uh, where you just can't really move around. So whoever watching this tonight, it's time for you to do what you need to do and talk to God about helping you navigate through it. Because if you are if you a believer, because a lot of people talk about God, but a lot of people are not believers. And I'm just going to keep it a, a whole book with you. Now is the time to get going. Stop worrying about how it's going to look. Stop worrying about how it's going to feel. Take what you have. If you have an idea, 
figure out how to put a patent on that ideal and get it out to the public so it can change your 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 economic status or economic how you want to say that so it can change so it can change so your economic status can change for you you want to be a wealth you want to be rich you want to be prosperous but guess what this stuff ain't knocking at your door it's it's not it's not going to knock at your door and say hey here go wealth hey here go riches hey here go prosperity like you really got to work Whatever you decide to do, you really got to work. When we do this podcast, it's really work behind it. We really have to man the stations up here and make sure the camera is good and make sure everything is running right so y'all can get a good quality show. It's work involved. It's behind the scenes things y'all don't see. You see what I'm saying? And some people, they have these great ideas. They want to start a business. They, 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 they want to launch it and get out there, but they, they fearful. And fear is like a grip. It, it's like a grip that, that holds you because you said, okay, if I start this business, how will I get customers? Or will I make money with this business? Or what will my friends say? Or what will my family members say? You, at some point, you got to say, hey, forget all that. And I'm just going to go for it. Listen to me. Steve Harvey made one of the best quotes I ever heard, ever. He said, and he said, when, he said, when you about to start any business venture, okay, or get into something, whenever you, whenever you do that, he said, it's like standing on a cliff. And at some point, you got to jump. But he said, on the way down, when you jump, you're gonna be hitting the side of that mountain. You're gonna be you're gonna be hitting the side of that of that cliff. You're gonna get scratched up and bruised up and everything until you decide to let them wings go and start flying. You gotta fly. It's time to fly. It's time to stop thinking about what people think about you. How you look, how you feel. Listen, I'm in the South. I tell people all the time my language chopped and screwed. I walk like this, I talk like that, and I'm good with it. I'm confident with it. And you got to be. Because I know people watching this like, oh, this dude, right? who is this dude? Or if they outside the South, they're like, who is this country dude talking? And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Because guess what? I put muscle in my hustle every day to make things work around me. My whole family is a business. We work tired. We work long hours every day. To generate income so we can build sustainable wealth for our family. It's not going to knock at the door. Wealth ain't knocking at your door. Riches ain't knocking at your door. Prosperity not knocking at your door. You can't sit on the couch, everybody watching Coming to America. You can't sit and watch Coming to America five times and think something great just going to happen. I'm just going to sit here and, and all my dreams and all my aspirations are just going to happen today. It don't work like that. And then you're not going to get an email or some bonus money deposit into your bank. You got to get up and work. You got to get up and move around. Some of us been talking about starting something at 20. Now you're 30. Now you're 40. Now you're 50. You're 60. You're still talking about doing something for 40 years, writing a book <clears throat> or writing a play or starting a construction business or a real estate business. <clears throat> At some point, you got to start. At some point, you got to take off with it. At some point, you got to sit down and create a business plan. At some point, you got to take your money and whatever money you have, $500 or $1,000 or $5,000 or $10,000, and you got to go after that dream with that money. If you have a home, a lot of people start businesses by pulling from the equity of their home. Your home have equity. You can go to the bank and get an equity loan. And start your business. At some point, you got to do it. When I was sitting there with my pop. Well, I like to say our pop because he's our pop. When I was in the room with him, I was sad. I was sad because that, 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 that's my dog. That's my friend. I learned something about when you younger and our pop, he was a, uh, uh, he disciplined us real good. If we got our line, we got it. But then as you got older, 
you start to appreciate, okay, I see why he was doing that. And then you, it becomes a friend now. You see, you see your parents as a friend now. You can talk to them about whatever. But when he passed away, I had a lot of time to think. And I was like, man, it's just time for people to start moving around. Get off that couch and start that business. Get off that couch and start that nonprofit organization. Get off that couch and go ahead and go to school. You've been, you been with somebody for, for five, ten years. Go ahead and marry them. What he, it's not a, you know, I was talking, I was talking to um, a family member last week, and they said uh, they've been with their girlfriend for 10 years. I said, man, what you waiting on? Just go sign the papers at the Justice of the Peace and throw a barbecue. You good. And tell everybody where it's going to be. <laughs> Quit waiting. Stop waiting. Stop procrastinating. Stop being lazy. Stop being slowful. These are things that the Bible talk about. Being lazy. Being slowful. Procrastinating. Stop procrastinating. Ain't nothing good. Ain't, ain't nothing, nothing good come to a dreamer. Nothing good come to a lazy person. Stop being lazy. At some point, you got to venture out there and make whatever that dream is you get work. If you want to go to school, go to school. Apply today and go. We don't have a lot of time on the earth. We don't. When I was 20, I was like, man, it's a lot of time, you know, 30. You start thinking about some things. Then you get up in age, you be like, wait a minute, I better get busy. I better get moving and stop worrying about what people think about what I got going on. At some point, you got to make up your mind to stop talking about it and being about it. At some point, you got you to gotta make up in your mind that I need to get out here and make some things happen and change my life. I got to. Now, some people came on tonight and said, oh, okay, I'm looking for the guest artist tonight on, on the Refill Podcast. And we thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Ron Daniel. But tonight, I just wanted to talk because I've been away for three weeks. Three weeks. Had a, you know, death in the family. My dad, our pop passed away. Then it snowed the next week. And then next week we plan. Then the following week we plan on the funeral. So we're three weeks away from the podcast, but now we're back and we're moving some full steam ahead. So what I'm telling you is, there are people around you. You have this dream of starting a business, or going to school, or buying a home, or getting married. But there's people around you. You have friends, people you call friends. And they're around you and they're telling you, you can't do it. Or you can't have a successful marriage. Or you can't have a successful business. Or why? what makes you think you can go to school and do that? At some point, you got to change your environment. You got to change your mindset. And you just got to get out there and make it happen. Make it work. Whatever it is you're going after, you got to make it work. You got to make it work. At some point, look here. There's an old saying. They say talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. You can talk all day. You can talk a good game all day till it's time to play the game. I can talk about beating LeBron James until I have to get on the actual court and play him. And LeBron James just dunk all over me. I can talk about beating Michael Jordan all day long. And it sound good in my mind. Oh, I can beat Michael Jordan. I can whoop Michael Jordan, and then Michael Jordan called me out. As old as he is, he can beat me. Cause basketball, I like watching basketball, but it ain't my thing. I'm not, I'm not finna get out there and dunk on nobody. I can't post you up no more, and I can't cross you over no more. <laughs> listen, listen. Excuse me. I got my good drink on with women tonight. That good Mountain Dew. They're going to sponsor the show one day. <laughs> I'm speaking it. Also, about speaking. At some point, you can't just sit around the house talking about you just speaking stuff into existence. I'm just speaking it, speaking it, speaking it. Guess what? The Bible said that the power of life and death is in our tongue. That's in Proverbs. But guess what? If you keep speaking stuff out there, 
and you're not working towards it, the word that's coming out your mouth is not going to just drop on, just drop, hit the ground and be void. Somebody going to grab a hold to your idea and start working it and doing it. Then you're going to sit back mad saying, wait a minute, that was my idea. I should have did that. I, I, I want to do that. And then you get discouraged. See, the thing is, we don't have a lot of time to live on earth. We think we do, but we don't. It's people dying because of COVID. It's people dying of natural age. You know what I'm saying? It's little kids dying. It's people shooting, little kids shooting, other little kids. Grown folks shooting grown folks. And we don't know when our time is. The Bible also says, he said, stay occupied till I come. He's saying work, keep working. Whatever you're trying to do, it's going to take work. It's going to take faith. It's going to take money. It's going to take praying. It's going to take a lot of long hours to work that dream and make it work. To build that dream you have. To build that business. Whatever you want to do. If you want to start a company, it's going to take work. Listen, you got to cut that TV off. You got to get out social media. Social media is a time killer. We just sit and we just scroll. Let me get my phone. We just do this. We just thumb. That's all we do. We just thumb up all day looking at other people's lives and frowning and mad and hating. And they ain't doing that. They ain't. Somebody looking at this podcast right now. What's it, what he trying to do? I'm trying to win. Ain't nothing wrong with trying to win. I'm trying to win. I'm trying to win, and at some point you got to decide if you want to win or not. You can talk about what you want to talk about all day long, but at some point you got to decide if you want to win. At some point, there are two pains in life. Somebody, somebody gave me this game a long time ago. They said there's two pains in life. They said the pain of hard work and the pain of regret. You just got to pick which one you want to do. Hard work is hard. We can make this this podcast look easy, but it's hard. It's challenging. It's stuff y'all see in here that all these wires and all these expensive hardware and all this stuff in here that make just a podcast work. I can easily just take my phone and just turn around and talk to y'all. That's easy. But to make something professional, professional and respectable, it takes a certain type of, uh, you have to move a certain type of way. I mean, you have to study. You got to work. You got to figure out why I need this $60 cable versus the $10 cable. Why I need this computer right here versus just bringing my whole desktop up here. Why I need these certain type of monitors y'all don't see versus just set a big monitor right here that'll hide everything up here. So it's study time. There's, there's two pains in life. The pain of hard work and the pain of regret. And a lot of people live their life and they get old and they make it to the deathbed. Or they just make it to old age and they regret saying, I should have started that cupcake company. I should have started that cake making business. I should have got married to that person who I who I was supposed to get married to. But I was so stuck on stupid looking at stupid stuff. And now that person that married and went on and got another family and, and prosperous and you just sit back looking like I was supposed to marry that person. You see what I'm saying? Time ain't waiting for nobody. Time is like a treadmill. It's it's an ongoing treadmill that never stop. And you gotta keep up with the time. The treadmill. The treadmill of time. It don't stop. It don't quit. It don't rest. It don't rest. And the one thing God do, and he do very well, he know how to keep the earth balanced. When people die, he bring in birth in the world. When, when people are born, he take people off. People die. I'm all, I, I tell people all the time, I believe for every one person that died, there's one person that's born. Because God is an equal balance. God like that. I believe that. I believe, I believe that. 
But here's the thing. You got to make up your mind what you want to do. You got to make up your mind how you going to do it. You got to look at all the time killers, the time suckers in your life. TV. Listen to me. Watching too much TV. Listen. We don't have just one, like, Comcast or Xfinity or AT&T with a bunch of channels. The game didn't change. Now we got apps, and there's new apps coming out every day. I got Netflix. I got Hulu. I got YouTube TV. Got them all. I don't know what's on them things. It's really because for the kids, be honest with you, and they don't hardly watch them. But we got it just in case we want to take a break and watch some on Hulu or Netflix or YouTube TV. We, we can sit and watch it. HBO Max. Got all them things. Now Disney Channel just came out. Paramount Plus just came out. So it's more apps coming out, coming out to keep us distracted and sitting on the couch popping food in our mouth. Watching TV and wishing and hoping that whatever this dream we get that we want to do. It's just going to fall out the sky or it's just going to knock on the door and ring the doorbell or some opportunity going to hit you in the inbox. Hey, here go what success is. And look, here, if you be, if you just keep it real, if somebody came up to you and gave you the idea business today and say, hey, I want to give it to you right now, you will squander it all because you don't know what to do. You sitting on the couch and somebody call your smartphone and say, hey, I got this perfect business for you. It's yours, and you get it, and you just mess it up because you don't know what to do. <clears throat> wasting too much time watching TV, wasting too much time on social media, wasting too much time hanging out in the wrong places. You go over your mom's house every single day. You go to the club every week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You see the same people. You go to church. Nothing wrong with going to church. But some people go to church, and they just stay there all day Long, from the time the door open to the time the door closed, they go to all the services. Every time the club open up, folks going to the club because I, I just want to see the same people doing the same thing, talking the same game. And you missing out time. You could be using that time to work on your business. And being an entre entrepreneur is a lonely road. You ain't going to have a lot of friends around you. It's lonely. I categorize people. I had to learn how to put people in categories. I got my friends, which is very, very, very few. I got partners. I got associates. I got people I know. Let me say that again. Friends, partners, associates, and just people I know. That's it. But I made a choice to get rid of the TV time, get rid of hanging out on social media, get rid of just going places and just sitting over there four and five hours doing nothing. <clears throat> you gotta make up your you gotta make up your mind what you wanna do. You gotta make up your mind what you wanna do. You sitting on that dream. And that dream is the thing that's going to get you to the wealth. It's going to get you to the prosperity. It's going to get you to, 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 to where you want to be. If you're living in an apartment and you want to get a house, go get the house. Get your credit up. Do the steps and go get you a house. If you want to go to school, go to that university. Go to that college, that two-year college, four-year college, and go enroll. If you got kids, take them with you. I saw an article online. This lady uh, became a lawyer. I want to say she was uh, maybe 59 with five kids, I think. Well, I forget how old she was. She had five kids, and she said she took them to class every single day until she finally got her law degree. Every single day. That lady was determined. Because she made up in her mind, she said, I got to change my life. And let, let me tell you something for folks who are looking at this. Let me tell you something about me. I'm not one of the folks that going to try to give a message if I don't get the message. 
I'm not one of those type of people. A lot of people shoot a lot of good game. A lot of people, a lot, a lot of people talk a lot of good game. But it's only a few people that I've met in, in my life, personal, I'm speaking personal experience, that's actually doing what they say they're doing. I mean, I remember meeting this guy. He drives around my city in a dirty car. Dirty car. Come to find out this dude is a millionaire. Millionaire. And he didn't tell me. His partner told me. His partner said, man, he got so much money flying around here. I said, I said, he doing it like that? He said, yeah. He said, he said, he said, oh, he way past seven figures. His partner told me. And these some older dudes. But if you see him, you just see him drive around in his old car. He just got an old car. And I'm glad I got access to him that I can just sit and go talk to him anytime. I just sit like a little kid. I just sit and I just soak the game up. I said, hey, man, let me ask you a question. And he just started talking. I'm just sitting back soaking it up. For those who are looking at have families, you got to pull your family together and y'all do something. For those who married with kids, you already got what I call um, a built-in employees. Your kids are the employees. You can get tax benefits and everything, right? I all that stuff. By using your kids as employees. I'm not telling y'all nothing we don't do. But at some point, you got to want to change. You can talk about change all day long. At some point, you got to make those steps to change. And let me tell you something. When you make that change, people going to change around you. People going, those you, you was, was close with, friends, partners, your homeboy, your homegirl, jealousy creeps in, envy creeps in, and they stop talking to you. And I heard a great quote by the great philosopher Bootsy. <laughs> I'm talking about the rapper. He said, if they ain't talking to you no more, they talking about you. I said, man, that's actually true because it happened to me. They don't talk to me no more, so they must be talking about me. So, at some point, you got to make a decision that you want to change. At some point, you got to stop worrying about what people think about you. Stop worrying about trying to keep up with the Joneses. And because they bought a car, you want to go buy a car. Because they bought a house, you want to go buy a house. You can't even afford, afford that stuff. Trying to keep up with everybody. At some point, you got to have a I don't care attitude what you think about me. That's what I'm in in life. I don't care what a joker think. I don't care what a joker think about my appearance, how I talk, how I walk, what I drive, how I do it. Because I'm going to do it. And I've been doing it. I don't care. For folks who follow this podcast, they know I go hard for the Lord. I do. Because I'm passionate and I'm an advocate for gospel rap. 15 plus years. I've been in it. Soaked in it. I'm gamed up in it. But the thing is, I don't care. I don't care whoever look at it. I don't care what you think. What I'm saying is, you have to get to that mindset and stop worrying about what people think about you. What they, I mean, I'm in the South, what they think about you or what they think about you. You got to make it, you got to make up your mind. So who, for whoever, whoever looking at this, when this is over, Make a list. What you want to do. What you want to become. You want to be the best? Be the best. I said I want to be the best podcaster in the gospel rap space. And I'm determined to do the work to get there. You got you to gotta, you gotta be determined. I work in the food manufacturing space. Me and my wife. We are determined to be the best in that space. I work in real estate. I'm determined to be the best in that space. I'm not a realtor. I can go buy the houses. All them ugly houses y'all see. I said, oh, I love these ugly houses. They make money. I can go to the title company and give me a fat check. I like this. I'm determined. I work in the marketing space. I'm determined to be the, the number one. I'm shooting for number one. And for anybody seeing this, they think, oh, that's bragging, that's boasting. Hey, I don't care what you think. <clears throat> Burger King is number one. And they let you know, we the king of burgers. That's why they call Burger King. 
McDonald's say, hey, we the king of burgers too. Wendy's say, we the king of burgers. Rally say, we the king of burgers. So they up there, them boys at the top fighting. Who going to be the king of the burgers? When you look at sports, they're not going out there to be number two. They're going out there to be number one. They're going out there to win the championship, meaning you are the best for that season. And at some point in life, you got to make up your mind to be the best. But being the best comes with a lot of sacrifice because you got to sacrifice folks that don't think like you. You got to you got to cut them. You got to cut them loose. And it's gonna hurt your. It's gonna hurt you to your soul. Oh, this is my partner for 10, 15 years since we was going to elementary school, middle school, high school, college. And at some point, you got to make up your mind. You want to do something for yourself. And they're not going to be on the same track with you. They're going to talk about you. They're going to say, don't take all that. Why are you doing that? Listen, I've been there, done that, and I cut them boys loose. Just like that. Like the Red Sea just swam through that thing. You Cut them boys loose. Cut them girls loose. They ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> and then if they want to talk to me, they I'm not hard to find. You know? But at some point, you got to make up your mind what you want to do. At some point, you got to stop talking about stuff and start moving. Let me tell you about social media. Let me, let me pull this mic up. Let me tell you about social media. What I love about social media is it leveled the playing field. Meaning if you have an idea and you got some hustle and some grit and some grind about yourself and you're willing to invest and put money behind whatever it is you're looking to do, social media is the vehicle to get it through there. Because now you got access to people. Access to people all over the globe. It, you don't you don't have to take those old ways of doing things. But listen, those old ways still work because people still use them. But social media has cleared the playing field and it made it somewhat level. I'm not a Trump supporter. But the reason why Donald Trump was in office because of social media. And he can spew that that stuff he was talking and shoot that game to people. And they was like, we're going to vote for that dude. You see what I'm saying? Social media is your avenue to get out there. So if you can't work social media and get out there, you got to stop being lazy. You just got to say, hey, I'm just being lazy. I don't know. I, I, I better get moving. You don't have a long time, people. We don't. When I was in that hospital and I saw my daddy pass away, our, our pop, our daddy, pass away. And I was like, man, I just talked to him like a couple of days ago. And now he gone. He gone. And I was like, life t- for me, I was like, you better keep going. Stay on that treadmill. Keep going. Because for me personally, I'm speaking for me. I don't want to make it if the Lord let me see an old age, 70, 80, 90, and look back and like, I should have started that podcast. I should have went ahead and bought that that, that that old raggedy house and put that money in there and, and build it up and flip it out so I can get that fat check from the from the title company. I should I should have, we, we, we should have went ahead and started the food manufacturing business. So we could put our food in all these stores. You see what I'm saying? I should I should have went ahead and started the marketing company. I should have went ahead and opened up the barbershop. All the stuff I'm doing now. I don't want to live a life of regret. And let me tell you something. You don't have to put everything on social media. Stop showing your hand on everything. People show everything on social media. Stop showing your hand. I had somebody try to call me out. Saying, uh, what? you can't be doing all that. I said, well, come by the office and see for yourself. It's black excellence up here, and it's beautiful. All you got to do is come see it. He never showed up. He never showed up. He did a bunch of talking, 
but they didn't do no walking. I said, come save me. We can talk. It's going on, man. If you want to see what it looked like, come on. <clears throat> you don't have to show your hand. The thing with social media, everybody's showing every move out there. Every single move, they're showing every move. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Sit back. Don't show everything. <clears throat> Still got to have some type of mystique about yourself. People, people ain't thinking about mystique. They just say, hey, I bought a shoe. Hey, y'all, look at my French fries. Hey, y'all, I, I bought a car. What you think about my car? Hey, y'all, look at my house. I'm going to stand in front of my house. I'm like, do y'all know the crooks is on social media too? Joker going to get your address and rob you. Joker's pulling, got, got big money, showing stacks of money. I'm like, Joker going to rob you. All the good people ain't on social media. The robbers on social media too. The crooks. They on it too. But at some point, you got to make up your mind. God gave you a gift, and you got to decide to use it. Some people got one gift. Some people got multiple gifts. And <clears throat> at some point, you got to decide to use that gift God gave you. Some of us been sitting on that gift forever. Forever. I know people personally, and they just sitting on their talent, and they've been talking for 5 and 10 and 15 years about doing something. And like, what you think it's going to do? It's just going to show up at your, at your door, packaged up the way you want it? That ain't, this ain't Amazon giving, giving you something. This ain't UPS dropping stuff off. You got to work for it. Everything requires work. The Bible says a man don't work, don't eat. A lot of people like that quote. They don't know what that means. You don't work, you ain't going to get it. That's what it means. No work, no reward. You want the reward, you got to work for it. Again, every space I work in, I'm determined to be that one, number one. You can take it how you want to take. You can, oh, he bragging and boasting now. That's just, it's just confidence. It's confidence. Some people mistake confidence with bragging and boasting. It's not bragging and boasting. I'm shooting for that one spot where everybody going to be talking about, oh, that's the number one podcast on the face of the earth. And we're going to tell everybody, yo, we got the number one podcast. And y'all can take it how y'all want to take it. But people who rocking with us, they going to know he been saying that when we get to that point. It's not boast. It ain't brag. It's not brash. You know, it's not that. But you should strive to be the number one person in your space. Whatever field you work in. If you're a doctor, you should be the number one doctor. If you're a lawyer, you, you should want to be the number one lawyer. If you're a, 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 I don't know, a shoe designer, you should want to be the number one shoe designer. If you're a cake maker, you should want everybody eating your cakes and cookies and whatever you make. If you're a model, you should want to be the number one model. So, I said a lot tonight, but... I want whoever looking at this, I, I want you to understand that it's all love coming from over here. And it's you got to decide what you want to do and do it today. And for those who like, okay, how do I start? It's simple. Get you out a piece of paper or get your iPad or your smartphone. Write your goals down. Realistic goals. What do you want to become? Then write down what I'm going to do to get there. Here's the, the next step is the crucial step. It's not the writing down the goals. It's what I'm going to do to get there. Don't write down, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to get up. I'm going to meditate. Now, say I'm going to cut the TV time off. I'm going to cut off too much social media. I'm going to cut out all these old uh, friends around me that, that's just sitting around, ain't talking about nothing. And that, that's what's wrong with people. They're scared to cut people off because they're scared of the backlash. They're scared of what they're going to say. And a lot of times what hold people back are friends. People that don't have no positive influence on your life is, are holding you back. And at some point, you got to make up your mind what you want to do. At some point. You got to make up your mind. What you going to do? 
So what I'm telling you, you can do it, but it's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be challenging. You're going to have your days where you want to quit. You're going to have the days where you don't want to do, do this no more. I don't, I don't feel like doing the podcast all the time, but I, I push myself to get there. Cut the camera on. Cut all these monitors and lights on. Y'all don't see. Cut this microphone on and chop it up. Find the artists. Talk to them. See if they want to do the show. If they don't want to do the show, on to the next person. Don't waste time. Don't dwell on it. Don't get mad. <clears throat> don't do that. But you got to you gotta make up your mind to finally take that step. To make that step and go all out and do it. And if you got to sell your car to get the money to do it, sell your car. If you got to sell things to your house that's just sitting around to get the money, do it. You got an old lawnmower just sitting at your house, sell it for $100. Just sitting there ain't doing it but collecting dust. You got some old jewelry sitting around, sell it. Get the money and put it on your business. Put it on that dream. You see what I'm saying? I'm not telling you nothing I ain't done. I, I got stuff up here in the studio I done sold over and over and over to get the stuff y'all see now, the camera and all these mixers and all this stuff because I believe in this dream. I believe if don't nobody else believe it. Somebody like Oprah Winfrey, she believed when nobody else believed. Tyler Perry, they believe when nobody else believed. Denzel Washington, Spike Lee, Ryan Coogler. All these folks, they believe when nobody else believed. LeBron James, Michael Jordan. Shoot, I can just go down the list. Tiger Woods, I can just keep naming people. They believe when nobody else believe. But they push they sell. They didn't, they didn't start off being the best. They pushed themselves to be the best. Oprah Winfrey didn't start off with, 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 with everything she have. Now she pushed herself to get it. She pushed herself to get it. And you got to decide if you want to get it. It's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of dedication. It's going to take a lot of, uh, 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 it's going to take a lot of, Work that you like you've never worked before in your life. It's gonna take a. It's gonna take all that. It's gonna take all that. But the way you push yourself, the most rewarding time you will get when you working towards your dream is working when you don't feel like doing it, when you feel like going to sleep and you say, you know what, I'm not gonna go to sleep. I'm going to do one more hour, or I'm going to study, I'm going to look at one more video, or I'm going to read one more chapter, or I'm going to sell one more item to get this money up, or I'm going to do one more podcast, I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to sell one more cookie, I'm going to try to cut one more head, I'm going to go try to sell one more house, and now you brick building. Let me tell you something about building a brick house. And I ain't talking about nothing drug related. I'm talking about a real actual brick house that you live in, sleep in. You got a roof off your head, brick house. A brick house is, you know, a house, a house from the, you know, from the blueprint to what they say, conception. From conception to a fruition, y'all know what I'm saying. It start off with a blueprint, but then when it comes to the to the brick laying stage, it can be a forty thousand square foot house. But guess what? Each of those bricks I put up one by one. Then I put up two at a time, three at a time, ten at a time. They put up one by one. And if you think about that concept, brick laying, I think about it every day. Let me do one more thing. <coughs> <coughs> Let me do one more thing so I can get ahead. Let me get up early one more time and work. Let me stay up late one more time 
and, and get, get to this goal. You see what I'm saying? Now you're bricklaying. Now you're building that house. All the successful people, if they got it the right way or if they cooked and hooked for it, even the cooks work. <laughs> the cooks work too. But the thing is, you got to think of, you got to have a brick laying concept. Let me lay one more brick on the house. Let me put one more brick on the house. Okay, it's raining today. Let me put one more brick on the house. Okay, it's snowing today. Let me put one more brick on the house. Okay, it's hot. It's 100 degrees outside. But let me put one more brick on this house. And you look up. You got a solid foundation built. And you got customers coming in from everywhere. You got clients and that dream you have of going to school. You you completed it. <clears throat> that dream you have of being married. You done it. That dream you have of starting a business. And it's successful because you adding a brick every day. One brick at a time. One brick at a time. I don't feel like going to people. Let me do it anyway. I don't feel like doing uh, 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 whatever. I don't feel like making one more phone call, but I'm going to make it anyway. I don't feel like sending out one more email, but I'm going to do it anyway. I don't feel like sending out one more text because I'm tired, but I'm going to do it anyway. And that one text or that one email or that one phone call be that thing to get you over the hump to the next stage. Ask me how I know because I know. Done it. Been there. Done that. <laughs> All the stuff y'all see. This podcast, this took years. This is 20 years of learning how to make this stuff move like this. This just didn't happen because I looked at a YouTube video one weekend and said, oh, I could do that. No, this is years of learning how this stuff move and learning how to keep the frames together. So y'all want to say, man, look at this dude, crazy looking podcast. I could easily just sat against a wall like a lot of people do and just sit in my room and talk. But I want something different. I want something looking like CNN. I want something looking like ESPN. So I'm trying to figure out what are they using? What kind of camera is that? What kind of wire is that? Why they got that thing moving at the bottom? Why they got the thing moving at the top? Why they got the camera set back so far? Why they got that type of disc? See, I'm looking at all that and telling myself, I'm going to get to that one day. And they're going to see it. I'm going to get to that one day. They're going to say, that, 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 boy, that boy podcast looking like ESPN up there. With them shiny flows and them bright lights and cameras. But you got to be willing to start where you at. You're not going to ever get there if you don't start. No start, no finish. If you don't start, you're not going to get there. If you're doing a bunch of talking, you ain't doing a bunch of walking. And In this life, there's only two type of people. Game players and spectators. You got to choose which one you want to be. And the game players, the people that's exercising in the gym, hitting those jumpers and free throws and, and, and working on dribbling around the cones and getting in the weight room, hitting, hitting that iron. And it's only, and, and, and they say they only pick the 12 best players for a team to perform in front of 30,000 people. The spectators. See what I'm saying? You can be the spectator, sit on the side, look at the show, or you can be the one in the show. I decided to be a game player. But I'm telling whoever looking at this, game players are spectators. Choose one. It ain't no great area. You got to stop talking. And you got to start walking. You got to, hey, go. you got a TV sitting around your house, go sell and start your dream. An extra TV, you know you ain't looking at that thing. A lot of us, we got TVs in every room. and ain't looking at, in the bathroom, in the kitchen. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm not a hater. I'm just saying, if you got something sitting around, extra, you can sell it, start your business. Or put it towards the money to start your business. That's all I'm saying. I remember buying this microphone. I bought it when I saw, I sold. I just had a microphone sitting up here and I sold. I said, well, let me put it with the money I already got and just, you know, get this microphone. It makes sense to me. So the thing is, man, I'm glad y'all tuned into this podcast. 
We back. We was gone for three. We was gone for three weeks. We back now. Next week we will have uh, two new two new uh, guests. Next week, every Thursday, every Friday. Uh, also, before we get out of here, donate to the podcast. People do donate. Donate to the podcast. All you gotta do is look at the bottom. You see the you see the lower third thing moving at the bottom. It's gonna tell you how to donate. Do cash out, Vimo or PayPal. You see it there. Just pause it. Uh, whatever amount, whatever amount, uh, it helps us to continue this podcast and this platform. You know, I tell people, money make the world go round, and it take money to do everything we need to get done in this life. Whoever looking at this, you need money to keep your lights on. You need money to keep your smartphone on, your iPad, your computer, your internet, uh, Hulu, Netflix. They ain't giving this stuff out for free. Every month we paying for it. The internet service to make this podcast work. We pay a lot. Business in a business, <laughs> business internet service versus residential internet service is high. Business internet is high. Residential, you can get some internet for thirty dollars. Business, you might be talking about two, three hundred, four hundred dollars, depending on what package you get. So we got to keep all this rolling. And if y'all get down with us and y'all stay with us, and if you're just not tuned in, give us a, give, give this show a couple a couple of times. We on there on show twenty three. Give us give us give us a couple of episodes, and 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 we're gonna come with some more because we determined to give you some more. We determined to be the best, and and you know it's gonna um, it's gonna take a lot of work, but we already made up our mind to do the work. So we're gonna get off this thing, man. Again, I'm glad. I, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I appreciate the inboxes. The, the, the text messages, everything concerning uh, our, our dad passing away uh, two weeks ago. I, I really appreciate everybody, you know, because, you know, you don't know. I, I don't know who thinking about little old me, but I saw it. I felt the love and I appreciate it. Uh, our family appreciate it because we we adjusting now uh, to our, our, our dad, our pop. He's gone <laughs> and we adjusting uh, to him not being here. And we miss them. We all love them. We want them here. But God, you know, God don't make mistakes. And God need him more than we need him. So, you know, I, I really believe that when God take people, certain people, <laughs> not everybody, certain people, he, he need them more than we need them. So, uh, y'all tune in next week, man. We're going to have a hot, we're gonna have a hot new, uh, two new episodes, Thursday night, Friday night. Uh, on the page. Also, if you like this, please share it. Like the page. Tell your friends. Tell your partners about what we're doing. Uh, if you're a gospel rap artist, if you're a um, DJ, promoter, influencer, if you work in the media space, we want you on the show. We want to hear your story. We want to highlight it and tell people about it. So, may y'all tune in next week. We're going to get off this thing. And uh, I'm your host, Ron Daniel. And again, we back in the saddle, baby. And we uh get ready to roll through 2021 on these big mud flappers. And uh we're talking about tires. Not 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 no uh, talking about tires on 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 the heavy shit. So we're gonna get off this thing, man. Y'all tune back in next week. Uh we appreciate y'all, man. We appreciate y'all, you know, just tuning in every week and checking out what we're doing. Uh, we'll see y'all next time, man. Y'all be easy.